Good morning, friends. Today is July 2nd, and I just really moved that around, didn't I? Sorry about that. Um, today's July 2nd, and it is Monday, and it's usually a weigh-in day, but I have made the decision, um, finally, it took me forever to finally decide, but I am not getting weighed for July and August. Um, mostly because I'm a prisoner to the scale like I'm just like so obsessed with the numbers on the scale and anyone that's on keto or has heard about keto knows that you can fluctuate so much um within a day well you can with any new meal plan but um no I didn't call it a diet um anyway it just fluctuates so much and I get really stressed out about it so Along with my no way for July and August, I have set a personal goal for myself. Um, it's a high goal, I believe, but anyway, I'll tell you what it is. Okay, I want to lose 50 pounds by Christmas. Now, I do think that's attainable. Um, it's going to be a challenge for me because it works out to roughly two pounds a week. And if you followed me for any length of time, you know two pounds a week for me personally is huge like because I can like do really good and gain or gain I can do really good and lose like 1.6 pounds one week and the next week I can be up 1.6 so um I do fluctuate quite a bit um but my goal is to lose 50 pounds by Christmas because then for the next six months, if I lose another 50 pounds, that will take me into a year. And just think, this time next year, sitting in this same spot, I could be 100 pounds lighter. Wouldn't that be amazing? Um, oh, Just the sound of it is just, I feel better just thinking about it. Um, and we all know time goes by so fast. It's funny, the older you get... Um, you notice this more and I've been told that like I remember my mom and dad saying oh you kids you have no idea um, time's gonna go so fast well now that I'm 52 I don't know if you guys knew that anyway I'm 52 um, I really notice it like I'll be saying same the same things that I've noticed my mom and dad have said like about time going fast or and when the papers come we look through the flyers and just little things that um that I've picked up on that is funny but the main one is time does go really fast and you might as well make good use of that time like a year is not that long and if I can do the 50 pounds by Christmas and then 50 pounds by summer Oh, that will be so amazing. So that is my goal. That is my plan. Um, I'm giving it 100% of me because, frankly, I'm worth it. I never used to think so, but yes, I am. And I want to do it for me. So I am going to do it. Um, I hope you guys follow me on this journey. Um, I won't be doing the weigh-ins, of course. But I will be coming on and telling you how I feel and how I'm doing with it. Um, something I want to incorporate into it, uh, the best advice I was ever given, um, since starting keto was eat when you're hungry, drink when you're thirsty and not worry about if it's noon, you got to have lunch. If it's five, you got to have supper. Who says you gotta, you don't gotta. <laughs> um, so I want to incorporate the intermittent fasting because basically if I eat once a day, I'm happy with that. Like already it's, what time is it? It's almost 1230 and I'm not hungry at all. I've had my bulletproof coffee and it just, it is so good. Um, and it fills me up and, um, I am going to try and drink more water though. Um, not a crazy amount or not like I have to have eight glasses a day, but I am going to try and drink more water because I know personally I feel better when I drink more water so that is that but I'm not going to worry about calories like I was trying to get in 1200 calories a day and lots of times I don't get that in like sometimes it's 800 or 900 well that's because I only feel like eating once a day and that's okay so I am going to do this um one of the I seen a oh what was it? A poster like on Instagram and it said, look in the mirror 
that's your biggest competition. How powerful is that? Um, that really stuck with me. It's funny how certain things will hit you in a certain way and have meaning to you. Well, that really did. Um, because I am terrible for um, not being in competition with others, but comparing myself to others. Like, I'm like, oh, well, this person's been on for a month and they've lost like 20 pounds. And it's taken me like three months to not even get to 20 pounds yet. So I get pretty discouraged well I got to stop doing that because as the poster said look in the mirror that's your biggest competition so I'm my own competition and I am going to do this for me um so yeah I guess that's all I was going to tell you for today um and I it was Monday and I did miss you guys and wanted to come on and uh say hi and uh, let you know what the plan is. So if you are a prayer at all, please pray for me. Because I will need all the help I can get. But um, yeah, two pounds a week. And I'm also going to start moving more. Um, that, I believe, is a big thing. Like, you don't have to exercise with keto, which is wonderful. Um, because my pain is so high, usually from the fibromyalgia and the trouble with my discs and stuff in my back that I'm in pain most of the time. So the last thing I think about is exercise. Um, but I did have a recumbent bike and I wasn't using it and it was taking up a lot of room. So I ended up selling it. Well, the lady that bought it just had it for sale. And she said that she now has arthritis and can't use it. And I thought, oh my goodness, wouldn't I love to have that back again? But right now <laughs> I'm so broke, I can't afford to pay attention. So, um, but I did message her and said, you know, I'm sorry to hear about your arthritis and that the bike didn't work out or whatever. And, um, guess what? She gave it back to me. How amazing is that? So I do have it. I am going to use it again. I'm not going to compare to others like who can sit on it for an hour and pretend to bike to Africa or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, even if I only do a couple minutes, but I do it a few times a day, that's going to be awesome. Every bit makes a difference. So I'm really excited to get that back. Um, and I'm excited that I gave myself this challenge because as I say, the time goes and I don't want to, for many, many years I've sat here and said, oh, if I'd only done this last year, um, you know, I just, I do that at New Year's too. New Year's Eve, you know how everybody makes like New Year's resolutions and stuff. I always think to myself, oh, if I'd only stuck to this last year, when I got to this year, look at the difference it was going to make. So anyway, I've done yapping for today, but that's the plan. So no in, no way in July and August, like just at the end of the month. So I will give you a monthly update. And then 50 pounds lost by Christmas. So please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribed to me yet, I'd really appreciate it. Down below, just hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up. All the likes mean a lot to me and um, lets me know that I'm on the right track and that people are paying attention and are going to follow me. So I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later and let you know how things are going. Okay, have a great day all. Bye-bye.